Sorry. I'm saying her daughter is so cute. She's over there. She has like two little rubber fingers that are so they're pointing. It. So she likes something. They go up in the air. If they start going down, we know we've, we're, in, we're in trouble. It is a condition, by the way, that can strike without warning. Right now, as many as three million Americans are living with type one diabetes. Unfortunately, nothing can be done to prevent or cure it. But there is one local chapter of a global organization who is working diligently to raise money for type one diabetes research. The Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation's annual Miracles Gala is next weekend, and there's still time for you to attend to help out a great cause. So let's introduce you to some wonderful ladies. Joining us now, Brooks Biagini. She is the executive director of the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation's North Florida chapter. Casey Repass and Katie Bush are both board members and the gala co-chairs. Ladies, it's so good to see you. Your daughter's over there. She's just, <laughs> she's so cute. I just, I had to mention her before the show. Let's talk about this. This is a big deal for you guys. This is an opportunity to raise a a lot of funds going to a great cause. So the gala's next week, still time to attend. Yes, there is. We still have tickets available for sale. Um, and each year uh, with the gala, we uh, have live auction items and silent auction items. Um, some of the items that we procured this year, we've got so many amazing ones donated by families and businesses. Uh, we have a, uh, a behind the scenes tour to the Today Show uh, in New York City, and we have a week long uh, vacation in the exclusive Wolf Laurel Resort just outside of Asheville, North Carolina. Um, and my personal favorite, we have a three night uh, guided fishing trip to uh, the Black Fly Bone Fishing Lodge in Abaco, Bahamas. Uh, and we even have a sunfish sailboat that was donated by someone this year. Um, so of course there's a fun night of dinner and dancing and it's held at the beautiful Sawgrass Marriott on October 14th. And that is, it's so much fun, right? You go and there, it's a great opportunity to network with like-minded people who just want to help a great cause because you said there's something like 400 plus people yes. who go to this one event. And then you can get all the good stuff. Like, I, that's where I go, right to the silent auction. You know, all the stuff that's on the table. We were looking at some of the pictures. So that's, it is fun. This year's theme is Into the Blue. So let's talk about how we came up with Into the Blue and, and the story behind that. Casey, Into the Blue can mean a lot of things. And actually, when we came up with the theme, we surveyed our board members what they thought Into the Blue means. And to piggyback on what Casey said, it's the sailboat. It's the trip to the Bahamas. It's the other multiple auction items that we have that are associated with Into the Blue, but in addition to that, blue is the JDRF's branded color, so this is going to give it an even deeper meaning behind Into the Blue. Yeah, I know there's a lot of thought that went into the, how meaningful this is going to be right. for the people who are attending and what they take away from it. This year, you guys are also honoring somebody pretty special, Mark Lamping, president of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Why did you decide upon him? Well, I mean, wow, we are so thrilled to have Mark Lamping to be um, our honoree at this year's gala. The Jaguars and um, Johnson & Johnson Vision Care are our presenting sponsors this year, and what an accomplished individual. He's got a Super Bowl ring, he's got a World Championship ring, but on October 14th, we're going to be honoring Mark Lamping for his human, his um, compassionate side, his side that is giving back to our community all the time. Isn't that and so nice when you see people exactly. of that stature in the community and they want to do things to try to help a great cause? And exactly. one of those causes is type 1 diabetes. Let's talk about what that is mm -hmm. for people who might not know and they might be confusing it with type 2 diabetes. There's mm -hmm. a big difference between the two. Mm -hmm. There is. So type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease and that's really what differentiates type 1 and type 2. Type 2 diabetes is a metabolic condition uh, where your body is producing some insulin but it needs some help um, in order to turn your food into energy. Um, type 1 diabetes, when you're diagnosed with type 1, which is an autoimmune disease, your pancreas isn't producing insulin. So to live you have to prick your finger to get your blood sugar glucose level every you know few hours as well as count carbohydrates, give yourself insulin, um, and and really, there's a long t there's a burden daily of living sure. with type one diabetes. It affects every part of your life, and not just you as an individual, but your family. Um, it can affect children and as well as adults. Um, there's nearly there's a few million people living with type one diabetes, and you know JDRF is an organization that is committed to to ridding of this disease. Um, it was founded in 1970 by a small group of parents wanting to find a cure for their children. And uh, since that time, 47 years ago, nearly $2 billion has been invested into research for type 1 diabetes. But we're not done yet. There's still so much sure. to do. And, 
And your heart really mm -hmm. goes out to these children who they're trying to be kids, right? That's right. They want to go to school and play sports and have friends, and then yet they have to deal with that right. daily, hourly right. sometimes. Uh, we only have about 30 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the funds very quickly, where mm -hmm. they go, because we raise money, but it's going to a good cause. That's right. Again, JDRF's goal is to basically, um, to, how do I say this? I know. It, 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 it's it's to eliminate... It's to eliminate the difficulties of um, diabetes, and we do this through various research pro progresses. Um, you have some research out there that will help manage the disease. You have some that's actually trying to um, prevent the disease, um, and we've come such a long way. Uh, and the funds from this year's gala are going to contribute to this um, research that's out there. Uh, we expect to raise over $450,000 this year. Um, and hopefully it'll make a significant impact on the research that's out there. Yeah, the finding the cure is important, that's but right. also finding ways that kids can get through the day as painlessly as possible is also, I know, a key mm -hmm. aspect of what you guys are trying to do. So good to see you, ladies. Great Good luck you. with everything. Thank you. Tickets are still available. I know yes. you sell a lot, but yes. we need some more because we right. want to hit a record this year, right? That's right. Yes. Yes. Okay, put we your do. daughter Half on it. She'll, <laughs> she'll, she'll do it. I know. She's, she's awesome. Good to see you. And a Thank special you. thanks Thank to you. the Juveniles Diabetes Research Foundation for coming on and providing us all of this content. Remember, the 17th annual JDRF Miracles Gala is October 14th at 6 p.m. at the Sawgrass Marriott Golf and Resort and Spa. For more information to buy tickets, you can go directly to their website, which is jdrf.org forward slash North Florida.